The topic we are going to discuss today is psychological assessment and the role of ethical issues into it. Psychological assessment is one of a very major and important component in the field of psychology and social sciences. When we talk about psychological assessment, there are different protocols in which we have to see that either ethical issues are being taken care of or not. Psychological assessment is primarily a subdiscipline of scientific psychology which is exclusively devoted to study of a given subject with different purposes. These purposes could be uh, varied. For instance, they could be either describing. Uh, describing could be either in term of the clinical psychology, description could be given to any developmental milestone and it could be any diagnosing or predicting behavior as well. Now, when it comes to diagnosis, diagnosis could be done into various fields. It could be done into clinical psychology, into educational psychology, into forensic psychology maybe or any other subdomains of psychology. Simultaneously, when we talk about the predicting behavior, the predicting behavior could be related to anything. It could be related, related to any developmental milestone. It could be probably related to any educational achievement or any other motivational behavior. So, these are the things that in which different settings and different subsystems we are going to describe that how the psychological assessment could be done. And then we can see that exclusively in clinical and educational settings, the importance of psychological assessment is much more than as compared to any other area. Now, looking into numerous components where psychological assessment could be done. It could be norm-based psychological test. You know, there are the different uh, norms according to the uh, subject setting. For instance, norms are uh, different in Pakistan and different subcultures. And the overall Pakistani population ke jo norms are different. Reference norms are different ho sakte hai as compared to any other population in any Western country. Then informal test and surveys. We are aware of the fact that in psychology, there are different informal tests which are being going on. Hum personality ki assessment ke liye mukhtif tarah ke formal or informal tests bhi use karte hain. Iske alawa hum bohat sari opinion based surveys use karte hain. Is tarah ki assessment jo hai, wo bhi psychological assessment ki ek subdomain kehlati hai. Then interviews. Interviews could be of varied type. They could be formal, informal interviews structured interviews, unstructured interviews, but they all are going to contribute as a component in psychological assessment. Then school or medical records. Agar ek bachche ki school performance ka humne record dekhna hai, hum uski ek grade 9 ka bachcha hai, aur hum uski previous performance dekhna cha rahe hai, aur hum uski grade 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We are going through the all medical records, so we get to know ki is bachche ki previous performance kaisi rahi hai, and on the basis of that component, we can predict that in future, what kind of the educational performance that child may be going to do if no intervention is being done at this stage. Then medical records is another thing which is very important and in some cases, it could provide it as an important baseline for the patient. Medical records, if you have maintained in a hospital, in a family, in a patient, in a patient, in a healthy individual, so, those medical records are a baseline that can tell us about any disease ki sudden onset of what can be the causes of the disease. If there is an underlying health ailment, then they can also give a description and assess it. How will it be progressed over the years? Kaise a progress hua hoga. So, these are the different ways in which the psychological assessment are being done. And then observational data. Now, observation could be participant observation, it could be guided observation, it could be unguided observation or any other kind. So, observational studies are another way of doing psychological assessment. So, we see in different settings, different components are being used and by one way or another, they all are contributing towards assessing that what kind of issue is being going on and how we are going to assess that formally or informally. Psychologists usually undertake psychological assessment in diverse setting, taking into account the cultural and other factors. So, we just can't undermine that uh, there could be the different factors which are going to influence the psychological assessment and how we are going to do with the ethical practice during that setting. This awareness may influence psychologists 
फॉर इंस्टेंस द चॉइस ऑफ द असेसमेंट मेथड अब जो भी असेसमेंट की चॉइस एक साइकोलॉजिस्ट यूज कर रहा है उसका इम्पैक्ट जो है वो डिफरेंट तरीके से हो सकता है आइर वो उससे इतना इक्वेंटेंस उसकी नहीं है उसकी एक्सपर्टीज नहीं है या वो बहुत ज़्यादा उसको एक्सपर्ट है और यूज़ करता है उसकी टिप्स पे है तो ये जो कंपोनेंट्स हैं ये इफेक्ट कर सकते हैं उसकी इस प्रैक्टिस के ऊपर देन इंटरप्रटेशन ऑफ द रिजल्ट देन फॉर द क्वालिटेटिव डाटा एक्सक्लूसिवली द इंटरप्रटेशन कुड बी सब्जेक्टिवली डिफरेंट फ्रॉम वन एक्सपर्ट एनालिसिस टू अनदर एक्सपर्ट एनालिसिस जैसे अगर हम इसको मेडिकल रिकॉर्ड्स की भी बात करें हिस्ट्री की बात करें अगर एक मेडिकल एक्सपर्ट जो है वो एक एम की रिपोर्ट को देखता है तो उसकी आय उस एक रिपोर्ट के अंदर जो चीज़ें देख रही होती है उस रिकॉर्ड में जो चीज़ें देख रही होती है मे बी वो दूसरा एक्सपर्ट उससे स्लाइटली डिफरेंट देख रहा हो सेम इज गोज विद द इंटरप्रटेशन ऑफ द साइकोलॉजिकल असेसमेंट सो दे कम्स डिफरेंट इशूज विच नीड टू बी प्रॉपरली टेकन केयर ऑफ देन कंपाइलेशन ऑफ द रिपोर्ट्स वेन वी कंपाइल द रिपोर्ट्स डिफरेंट फैक्टर्स कुड बी टेकन इन टू अकाउंट एंड दे कैन ऑल्सो इन्फ्लुएंस द रिपोर्ट ऑफ द साइकोलॉजिस्ट then communication to their clients regarding their their assessment this is another factor when you have the baseline data when you know the prior factors which which are the precipitating factors which are the maintaining factors which are the predisposing factors then probably your opinion towards making any report could be different than otherwise so if you are aware of all those factors they are in total going to combine and impact on the report what is whatever being created by the psychologist now the use of psychological assessment uh, a psychological assessment may be used as a foundation for two major things understanding and then diagnosis as far as the understanding is concerned a person uh, whosoever is the client his behavior could be understood in a better way this is something very simple to understand that the purpose of the psychological assessment is to give the better understanding and then another important thing which is a uh, crucial and important is the diagnosis for example diagnosis for the cognitive impairment di diagnosis for the intellectual disability or ability for psych psychiatric illness and for any kind of learning disability or any other diagnosis which comes under the umbrella of dsm 5 moving on to measure an individual's functioning at a specific point in time and provide a snapshot of that person for instance that if we wanted to see that any if at any specific point in any certain situation the person person is going to experience panic attack or a person is going to diagnose with depression the snapshot of that very moment is going to give the measure of an individual's functioning then psychological assessment could be used as a planning and intervention obtaining a baseline measure prior to the implementation of any behavioral change program and identifying preferences to guide career counseling so at the beginning as a baseline level hum assess karte hain ki ek individual ka status kya hai uske baad usko tap karne ke liye hum jo bhi intervention plan jo bhi training jo bhi hum usko behavior guidance dete hain uske baad hum uski post assessment karte hain to so, assessment ka phase jo hai usme ek baseline important bhi planning aur intervention ke liye bahut important hai then monitoring intervention for the purpose of assessing behavior change and psychological improvement in subjects uh, let's say we are talking about the decision making hum dekh rahe hain ki ek individual ki decision making ke upar continuous training ke baad kitna change aa raha hai like humne uski employment ke waqt uski ek pre testing ki aur humne dekha ki is individual ki decision making skills kaisi hain uske baad ek company usko continuous training de rahi hai usko guidance de rahi hai usko seminars aur awareness campaigns mein पार्टिसिपेशन करा रही है और उसके अलावा उसकी हैंड्स ऑन प्रैक्टिस भी हो रही है मैनेजेरियल वर्क पे सो पोस्ट असेसमेंट कैन डिफाइन कि उसकी डिसीजन मेकिंग एबिलिटी में टू एन असेसमेंट कितना चेंज आया तो ये असेसमेंट मयस जो हैं वो आपकी डिफरेंट एबिलिटीज जो हैं उनको भी रिफ्लेक्ट कर सकते हैं देन डिवेलपमेंट ऑफ इंडिविजुअल्स ऑफ अ ग्रुप और इन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन जैसे हम डिफरेंट सर्विस करते हैं जो एक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन की ओवरऑल ग्रोथ के बारे में बताती है जैसे मोर रिसेंटली स्पीकिंग वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट डेट पाकिस्तान कितने एस टी जीज को कितना बेहतर तरीके से अचीव कर रहा है जो हमारा एक अल्टीमेट गोल है उन एस टी जीज की प्लानिंग के लिए जो है वो हम पहले एक बेस लाइन असेसमेंट करते हैं जिसमें देखते हैं कि इस वक्त किन एस टी जीज में पाकिस्तान में काम हो रहा है और उसके बाद फिर दस साल के बाद या पाँच साल के बाद दोबारा सब रेलिवेंट स्टेक होल्डर्स से डाटा इकट्ठा किया जाता है और असेसमेंट की जाती है कि अब हम किस एस टी जी पे किस पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू पे खड़े हैं तो यू नो द प्री एंड पोस्ट टेस्ट कुड बी 
in terms of the person as well as it in term of an organization. 